Do you guys know there's a Syrian hacker core of the of the Syrian army called the Syrian Electronic Army, and they've been responsible for multiple hacks over the last few years? Okay, ha which, which Beyblade anime did you get that from? <laughs> was this during our Uzbekistan crisis? Yeah, it was. It was during Shrek's. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what is Shrek's? Shrek's is a is a way of life, in my opinion. You just, uh, we're do gonna you get drink the Boyga apple? King. Yeah. You guys down to get Boyga King? Boyga King? Yeah. Boy. Get Boyga King? <laughs> <laughs> we, get, we, get, we get balloons. Yeah, hey, Lois. Hey, Lois, you want to go to Boinger King? The fat man. The fat man in Louis. Brian. Brian. Louis. <laughs> okay. Louis. Mom. Mom. Oh, my God. Mommy. The reason I wanted to have you on the podcast is because you do amazing impressions. And you're just a very charismatic guy. You're just a funny guy. You're like amazing. Justin C., one of our frequent guests. He's very charismatic, very charismatic Justin's guy. Justin's a prostitute. <laughs> really? I'm saying it here. So there's one, you know, you know the one I'm gonna ask you for. Of course. <laughs> you was eating trash. You was eating trash. Right? So, yeah, you're getting it. <laughs> that was that was great. But for those that don't know, that he's he wants me to do Danny DeVito from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. That's a great episode where he's um, for him and the gang, nice. so to speak. That's a good one. But they um, decide that they're going to do a wrestling tournament, like <laughs> WWE style, to um, support the troops. <laughs> and um, Frank, one of the titular characters of the show, um, is played by Danny DeVito. He comes out in this little er Andre the Giant fucking leotard, and <laughs> with his hair all throwed out, and he just throws a trash can. <laughs> I'm the trash man. <laughs> I, I, it's my character. I, I throw trash all, all over the ring. And I pick it up and I start eating garbage. And we were all pretty fucking ripped one night. And I just busted that out. And this feller. I started laughing my ass off. It's one of the funniest accents you can do. I'm a trash man. <laughs> Sometimes it helps if you're eating. I'm a trash man. I'm the trash <laughs> COVID. I'm the trash man. I'm, I'm the trash man. I'm dirty damn. Do you think he's a figment of our imagination? Who? Um, Forrest Gump? Oh, Justin? I don't know. Forrest Gump, totally. I mean, he's a movie right? character. Yeah, I mean, but, you know. I think I, I, I have reason to believe that Eric Andre isn't real. Why? Because you don't Everyone's on Shrew, everyone's on Sid when they're watching the Eric Andre show, right? Not so you think it's a mass hallucination <laughs> propagated by Adult Swim to boost ratings. Oh, I'm 100% on board with this, and for any of those that are listening that might be as well, you can feel free to contact me. <laughs> <laughs> you like the Eric Andre show? Oh, I love it. It's pretty goddamn... <clears throat> but his stand-up kind of yeah. sucked. I, I've it? only seen, like... Hard only facts. had, like, two or three stand-ups that I've ever seen. There was one on, like, Lopez Tonight. There was another... No, it was, like, his own stand-up show, like, on Netflix. Oh, like yeah, I saw the one. I saw the spe I saw parts of the special. They weren't... Yeah, I didn't laugh. At his that. energy is r admirable, but the comedy doesn't translate from Eric Andre unless he's doing the show live. Because the whole time he's just like, Well, there was this one time where I boned my grandma, and you know, it's just... Wah, wah, on stage and it's like funny for 10 minutes <laughs> but it goes on for 50. I, so for 80 percent of the show you're mildly disinterested i, I was at least damn that sucks because i fucking i love the eric andre Dude, show the show he's created though is pretty amazing it is it. it's just pure fucking I, I don't even know how to describe it it's like i don't even know it's just it's it's a shit show it's a, it is it's like a piss and shit show no, there was a really excellent YouTube video basically describing the Eric Andre show as um, almost like a modern day Looney Tunes in a way. What? Why? Because pretty much anything goes. Anything goes, and everything is just so animated and cartoony. It kind of defies reality in a couple of ways. Yeah, and Eric himself is just such a Bugs Bunny esque like kind of character. He's a trickster mm -hmm. throughout the entire fucking show. <laughs> And Season five, it just has so much crazy fucking kinetic energy to it that I think a lot of shows miss. Some of the guests get so fucking offended. They're I know. Just like, they're like, I think I'm gonna fucking leave right now. And you're just like, and then as a viewer, you're like, what was wait, her name? are you being serious? 
And then he like, and then Eric doesn't really care because that's how he knows it was a great show. Oh yeah, because they're because because they get mortified. <laughs> I just love when he does his street stuff. Like I find that his funniest. And I'm trying to think of the, the name of the gifts that he had, where he like ate his own vomit. Lauren Conrad. Lauren Conrad. What the f you think? We're off the books. That one was fucking amazing. It was perfect. Him, that Wiz Khalifa, Flava Flav, and Jack Black, all all four of those are like my, Wiz those are my four favorite. Good when he's just like, oh my god, that, that Jack Black's one of those guys that doesn't appear super often, but he, he needs, needs to be. To, he needs to, and even though he doesn't, he's still he's still f he's very well received. Yeah, man. Know? Yeah, he he's is. awesome. He, he has his own like gaming channel. Yeah, Jablinski now. Games. Jablinski, yeah, and he's like, dude, and, you know, yeah. I think he utilizes the idea that less is more. Totally. Mm -hmm. Borat is getting Borat. Oh yes. my god, yeah. Justin actually texted me about that. He wants to watch it. It's coming out on the twenty third. You know what I think, which is interesting, which kind of takes us into our next subject. <laughs> that would have been in theaters, but maybe not because you know what? It's very offensive. Hot take. What do the people think? A what? Borat? I think Borat is very funny. I think it's hilarious. I like but, Borat. you know, I bet a lot of people, Catholics, are offended by it, dude. Catholic, Catholics, Mormon. Romanians. Romanians, <laughs> yes, they were very. Who's your favorite actor? Shit. All right, hit me with the hard questions. I think my favorite actor, um, Elijah Woods? I don't know. Oh! oh. Dude, the it's one great. with the dog. That, that was a trip. That was a trip. Wilfred is one of my favorite fucking shows. It I is a psychologically it. crazy show. There well, are two versions of it. Which one did you watch? The one with Elijah Woods? Yeah. Okay. Not the Australian good. one. No, no. The Australian one is so much darker. Have you have you seen that episode of Family Guy where Brian writes a script for a movie and he wants Elijah Wood to be in it and it turns out that it's actually who's that guy that everyone hates? Andy Dick. No, no. But um. I oh, actually, James Woods. Yeah, James Woods. Yeah, James Woods. I remember that starting. fucking episode. Yeah, but um, speaking of Andy Dick, there's this UFC fighter named uh, Uriah Faber. Yeah. He's in Las Vegas, and then some people see him in the in the hallway. And he's like, "Hey, Andy Dick's rooms is over there. Can you? He wants to meet you. Can you come over?" And he's like, "Okay, sure, yeah." So he goes into his hotel room, and Andy Dick's pants are down. He's like peeing, and his his pants are down to, at his ankles like he's a kindergartner. He's yeah. holding his shirt. No. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then he's drunk as fuck and he turns around he's like, he's like, who are you? He's like, he's a, he's like, he's a fighter. He's like, you little fighter. <laughs> you little fighter. Come here. And he starts, <laughs> and he starts chasing him around the hotel room. Who is Andy Dick? I don't even, <laughs> who is he? Is he an actor? He was an actor. <laughs> is he dead? dead? No. Oh, he's, he's just an asshole. No one wants to hire him. Mother, I am sorry to wake you at this ungodly hour, but I must inform you that I have made a poopy in my pants. <laughs> I did it in my sleep, and I was not aware that I was having a bowel movement until it was too late. <laughs> now, if you could please assist me, your darling dear baby boy, <laughs> in getting me some new pampies. <laughs> if you could give me your social security and credit card, you can get 10% off of the Syrian Trap House newsletter. Hey! I have an Etsy shop. What is that? <laughs> What's an Etsy shop? On the Syrian Trap House Etsy shop, you can find a wide variety of products brought to you from the three of us. Gerbils, Jabin, and Jew? Question mark. <laughs> Horton hears a who? Horton hears a whore. You. I want you to waterboard me with this Diet Coke. You know what's funny? This isn't even Diet Coke. It's fucking Winco Cola. It's Diet Cola. Yeah. Fred Myers, thanks. Not even. <laughs> What is it? If it's the dollar store, you probably have to leave. <laughs> oh, guys, I need to tell you about my new job. I got a, I got hired as a general manager, uh, yeah. Babies R Us. Yeah. Good pay, dude, but the hours are shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. You know, I. It's. You know, I'm. I'm proud to work for a company that I could honestly. <laughs> wear that shirt with pride. Yeah. You know, like I'm doing something. Right. Like yeah. I'm doing something good. Doing something <laughs> so good. Honestly, what would you say is your favorite part about working in the <laughs> Unless, unless well, well, the truth, are they paying you enough? They're paying me, you know, it's like $25 an hour. 
Really? Yeah. That is remarkable. Yeah, dude, I'm really talented. I'm part of the crew. Uh, I'm part of the celebration crew. Okay. The Selly crew is what we called in our group chat. So what happens is whenever we whenever a little kid has their birthday, we go to their house and, and we And you, you bang tambourines in their face until they cry. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Because you're teaching babies how to feel fear. <laughs> So that way they can discern when to get out of dangerous situations. You know, it's educational. I really respect that. I'm so <laughs> glad that they're paying you the wages that you truly deserve for educating Americans. Thank you. That is remarkable. Thanks, bro. Yeah, it's really... No, you the know. pleasure is mine being, <laughs> being able to talk to you. I just feel, I just feel so, celibate. I'm just so fortunate that I'm so that passionate. That aside, this man is doing amazing work. <laughs> Banging I'm part of the Sally crew. Banging tambourines and cymbals in babies' faces till they cry. That, is, <laughs> yeah. that requires talent. Yes. How, did, how, did, how was the interview process? In well, the, sometimes I actually sing to them too. So in the interview, you? I did do a little bit of singing. How many pedals of distortion do you use to create the sound of it being a glass echo chamber? With ballistic missiles going. Well, 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 who says I create that type of sound? He just oh screams in their face. No so wonder you got the job if you could produce that type of noise on your own without amplification. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you just get a new job too? Yes. Where Where'd you get it? I work at Spencer's. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's. I'm dicey. the I'm the lead dick piercer. Are you serious? Yes. I also perform circumcisions. Oh shit! I'm Wait. Hero. Do you have any medical training? Um, I, I use a box cutter. <laughs> that requires precision. I circumcise myself. Wow. <laughs> At what age? 17. <laughs> and I hear rumors that you had to use one of the kindergarten safety scissors with the little squiggles in it that yeah. make it look like it's ribbon. <laughs> when the pretty girls parlay and they look at your pee pee do they go oh it looks like an art project they say is this um, true yeah they they say it's abstract hey did i ever tell you all about the time that i met a clown at the valley market <laughs> no what the you fuck met out. a clown yeah but he was off duty but like he had a clown hat and i was like hey cool clown hat and he's this big like six foot six like 350 pound dude with a giant beard under his mask and, and he, he was right you just dressed up Paint. Yeah, I paint, have face paint and everything. No, not that time. He was out of duty, like like I said. He was a he was off commissioned duty. officer. Yeah, of the clown brigade. <laughs> Did you take a picture of him? No, but he gave me his business card, his clown business card. No way. Yeah. But let me just give you a fuller, broader picture of this man. He looked like a perfectly normal, big Bruno looking Bruno. just dude. Yeah. And he had an old school like it was just a baseball cap, but it just had a like faded clown on it, and mm. like that's a part of my aesthetic. So I was just like, dang man, nice clown hat. And he goes, I am a clown. And I was like, huh, yeah, it's me too, man. And he's like, no, no I, I am a clown. And he's this big, crazy voice. He leaves, <coughs> then he comes back ten seconds later with a business card for ZigZag and Rags. Oh, my God. Which one is he? The one on the left or the right. Who is this other person? His partner, is I that assume. his wife or something? I don't know. Does but he it looks like a lot of money. Really he's not very hot. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're sponsoring this. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't want them to sponsor this anymore. It's four twenty. Pat celebrating the national holiday out of a minion bunk. CBD, obviously. CBD. Gobble gobble. Uh, you know our landlord is Mario and Luigi. They're fucking assholes, dude. They try to, they try to, <laughs> they try to hold the pot down and just piss on it. <laughs> or they, or they walk in my room. They're like, <laughs> like they're they're trying to speak Italian, but they're from another dimension. So it just yeah. So it just comes just off as like weird as fuck. Holy fuck! Yeah, dude, it's something like that. It's That's crazy. Scary. How do you deal with that? Bugs Bunny. I don't deal with it. I just tell Liam about it. In do you think Buzz Bunny is on amphetamines? <laughs> yes, dude, on, he has problems. I think he's on antidepressant. Do you think in the um, the um, Syrian trap house cinematic universe? Yes, I like that. Go on. Dior and and 
and Bugs Bunny just fuck. Who? Eeyore Eeyore. And Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Igor, you mean? Yeah, e- Igor from Winnie the Pooh. Wait, wait, is and Bugs Igor Bunny? Is the, Igor's the, the Moldovan plumber from Winnie the Pooh. Who are you saying? Bugs Bunny and Igor? I don't think that's really a match. Have you seen the scene in Family Guy with Igor and Winnie the Pooh? Come on, Eeyore. Let's go play. I don't feel like it. Why are you always in such a bad mood? <laughs> Come on, Eeyore. Let's go play. Oh. <laughs> I have a nail in my anus. Thanks for tuning into the Syrian Chop House podcast. Um, episode number, who cares? And, oh, Liam, you got something to say? Liam, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, from, from the Syrian Chop House podcast, good night and uh, fuck you, Liam. <sighs>